Hi friends golfers, Eric Schulberg and welcome back to my series on casting. So today we're looking at the swing guide here. So here, this is a kind of a different name brand of it, um, but it is still the basic swing guide, okay? One of my favorite training aids for the cast. Remember, let's remind you what the cast is. It's when we get the center of mass going flying out this way so we get this look here on the downswing from face on this big gap here versus this, okay? One of them has a lot more power. Guess which one? The suction one. Okay, so folks, if you've been this far, you've seen all my other ones, and we're just moving along. This train kind of the, the ones I love because it forces us to do the work. There's nothing getting us in this, like me getting this thing on my forearm is me putting it there. Now, what's great about it is I can adjust how I want it. If I'm the golfer that wants to get up there with a real flat left wrist, I can adjust this so when I get to the top, it hits me flat. If I want a little more cup, to help me get a little bit of a longer swing, let's say, and I'm gonna really motorcycle it heavy duty on the way down, then I can set this to hit me wherever I want, okay? So real adjustable, and what are we trying to feel? We're trying to feel that we hit that spot on the way up, okay? Like I want this club when we get to about parallel to the ground right here, P3, that it should about hit us about here, okay? And at that point, it's staying on us for quite a ways on the way down, okay? Almost, we feel, I feel mine almost to about here, and then I'm to here, right? And so working on this again, slow motion is the best. Okay, so I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna set up to this thing here. Get my good grip on it that I've been kind of working on. You know, a little weaker left hand for me, so I quit turning it over so much. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I got that in there. Now I'm gonna go here. Get this right where I want and then down to the ball, okay? So, again. Maybe a little too fast for some of you, but that's how I, I, I'm doing it right now, and just training in that slow motion mode. And what I love about this one is we can actually hit with it, okay? Okay, so it's probably not the best balance for me, okay? But I could feel me staying in here nicely. Boom, so great, great tool to use for getting rid of your cast because we can feel it hit here, we're gonna feel it stay on us in transition, okay? Check my website out, ejsgolf.com slash gear to find a place to order it. You're gonna pay less than 10 bucks. There's some place, some of the website, my website may take you to a place that has four of them, like $15. It's a real cheap piece of plastic, but one of the best training aids you can own, okay? Now, this isn't just for casting. You'll find out this can be used for a lot of other things too. So it's a great tool to have. It's really small. You just put it on your grip, screw it in. Kind of like see it there with the screw and stuff. And, um, Throw it in your bag real simply, and it can be used for a lot of different drills that you know you can find of mine on YouTube, Instagram, or whatever. But thanks for watching, Eric Solberg, and I hope that cast is uh, worked out of your system and you're starting to crush it. Let me know. Thank you, Eric Solberg, ETS Golf Academy. Hi, friends, golfers. Eric Solberg, and welcome back here to the uh, casting series. So you may notice a little something different on my arm, right? <laughs> this is a TRS ball. If you're looking for them. Um, they're up on my website on the gear tab. So egsgolf.com slash gear. So why do I have this funny thing on my arm, right? So attaches here, it goes like this in between my arms. Why do I want this? Okay. So one of the things that we see with students that cast, okay, is that you'll have this club coming down like this and you'll see this big separation in the arms. Okay. And the other thing that's happening is this, is that when we're casting like this, what are we doing? The body's not moving. So you'll typically see the body here, hands here. They're not working together, okay? So we want the body being what you're going to feel like is propelling the swing from here. And this helps you kind of, I call, syncing it up, okay? I like to do just little shots like this um, to start off until you feel comfortable. You're just going to go basically back from here to here. Now, this is going to be really hard for you folks at first if you've never done this and you're not used to it, um, well, if you're casting, you're going to go like this and you're going to have a tough time with this. So we're going to, we want to hit balls with it and really just from here to here. So this real little swing that goes from here. And what you're going to notice is that you start kinematically moving correctly. Like you're not going to want to go here and fire the arms down right away. This thing won't be in here. This thing will move out of the way and then you're going to be like this and it'll come off. Okay. So we want to make sure we finish it. You're going to be feeling like this slight pinch between the elbows, but you'll also notice when you get down here that there's this, you're going to be like this. 
Okay, so just these little swings, guys, where girls back from here, and I would do it off the ground like this at first. Let's get used to it. So we squat into it a little bit and then here. You got to notice that we can't start down with the arms right away with this thing. We got to wait until our body moves a little bit, and you're going to get that feeling doing it, okay, of what the body's like moving first. So it's just a matter of getting the feeling of the first right away this happening right from the top, okay? That's just the first move you're making when casting instead of, as we've talked about, if you've seen that video so far, of going here and squatting down, basically getting into this jump position, and then we're ready to go. But all that is the first move, not being here, where the arm's going down. So you, you almost wanna feel like we get to the top and you're just gonna wait, 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 and then go. It's gotta be exaggerated, okay? But I prefer you do these with little short swings you know, just going from here, here, and just feel big extension, okay? You're gonna see it here. And I wanna see this arms extended wide, none of this like in here cramp like you see typically when you cast, you see a lot of this stuff for casters. I wanna see arms wide, these arms extended completely, okay? Hope that helps, it should help. If you don't have one of those TRS balls, you can grab a balloon and put that in between your hands. It's just easier with that to grab it each time if you're going to be hitting a bunch of balls, which I want you to with this. And folks, it's just real little swings. You're going to get used to going here to here, okay? Just real little swings. That's what we build. We don't build from up here. We build from down to up, okay? So another drill in your cap to beat your casting. Thanks for watching. Eric Schulberg, Geeky Jazz Golf Academy.